Team Liquid and Thunder Awaken gave us one of the greatest matches of Dota 2 this last TI. SA playing for a chance to make top four. Now three members of that same squad that were on Thunder Awaken are now on Evil Geniuses. They've already made history by making top four at a major and have a move. It is. Maybe Just Fox Frontal, the captain. how to play the silencer. <laughs> I feel like I've seen one four player make this Oracle work consistently, and that was Jared back in the day. This could be the combo the right here. The toss back to Telkinesis into the kill. They do manage to get the stop on the Elpis as well. Whisper playing for the double here. And one he's more. gonna get that double edge. He's so close. Force the dive, maybe just Glyph here. There it is. How much can you get out of this? Can you get the body box? Can you body get the Body blocks? I was about to say, you're bringing in a hero that doesn't have a stun, but if he body blocks well enough, maybe. Matthew gonna be targeted here. The telekinesis is not gonna come through. Turns around, fades both, but that's all he's got. But Mickey walked back into that one and ends up going down anyway. So, mission success for evil geniuses. What a team player, you know? Goes back in, <laughs> helps get that plus two in for Insania. What is going on here? Bro. C-Smile, Nisha, C-Smile, very low, but the Fateful comes through, that's enough! Oh, baited him out off of the support death. Zion Bakaz battling it out here in this top lane at the same time. Oh, Bakaz, you know he wants that kill. Yeah, yes, but after a bit of a bait, Chris Luck, C-Smile feeling a lot better. He's gonna walk back to base. Ops not for the early level of the teleporter here, but uh, our Ursa is gonna be left behind. Liquid returning the favor here. They're gonna bring a tri lane to the enemy safe lane and do just what EG did. Mo Make work in some ways because your lineup is pretty defensive oriented. You're gonna be giving a fight to EG here. Yeah, they are gonna be connecting on the two supports, but they've already gone on to Zai here. Go for that kill, get it nice and quick. Who, unfortunately for them, has a shield rune. <laughs> yeah, that between Flame Guard and Shield rune. I feel like that here is probably untouchable, but the Oracle not so much. Don't think they're going to be able to have the chain disable, but maybe they can still have the damage. We'll see. He's out the Fates Edict stops a lot of the magic damage. Stampede goes out. Matthew trying to get away from the slight. Gets the distance. He's good for now. A stomp after the pit, so a relatch coming in. And they're going to show up. He's actually jumping past them. And here once you have there. absolute madman. And he will pay the price for making that crazy move. Uh, is that just yelling space for my alchemist? <laughs> I guess that so. That's a crazy move to make there. Nisha perhaps trying a little bit too hard to outplay evil geniuses who simply didn't need the strategy, just brought the numbers. Arm do liquid supports get. And that's maybe dependent on the moves Mickey makes. He could be up for Alk. Time to fight. Or hit the stomp off of the pit latch. They're going to be able to get a second one, but the Oracle is a problem. Just sitting up in their high ground. Can't really keep that aggression going. And Team Liquid are the ones who bring more numbers than EG this time around. The Roche is just so slow. That's the downside of this hero sometimes. Yeah. There's no way you want to go in Roche right now. It's way too clunky. They're going to find a big core kill. Stomp for stomp. Side, though, is going to be detected by now. Fate's Edict and even the potential of the False Promise. Insania. Taking a lot of damage from Matthew with some of those stolen spells. Gonna go back around. False Promise finally put to use here as the outcast cuts in from the side. A rude entrance from Mickey that's gonna be very effective at picking off the supports of Evil Geniuses. Not gonna be at this fight. They can finish it off in a second here. They see if the Watcher is oh, going down. Are you guys? Smoke's gonna prompt. Whisper starts going in. The Blood Dagger goes out first. Throws out the Doom immediately. But the Aegis is picked up already by the Urza who got off the Enrage too. Still though, Sea Smile's gonna be in trouble. Probably dead here. Panda's gonna try and heal him up where he can. TP home. Do they have a stop to this one? They do. Chains on through as he jumps to the Remnant. Two heroes picked off. Evil geniuses. Feel like that's not the worst if that is all it is. If that's all it is. Slow down. Catching up to him here. And they already moved the Ursa into the mid lane, so it looks like Whisper, he's not going to receive any help. That'll be a third hero to die in that exchange. <laughs> I mean, the good thing, you know, if you go a couple mantles on Centaur, you can drop him at the end. Yeah, I mean, he's going to go with Lotus Earth, so, you know. Uh, that'll help him out, but I guess you could do the mantle play. You got to think about Show the long con, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's the first game at a best of three. Why not taunt your opponent? Nice change. Holding the in the new supports once again, but Z-Smile is here. Oh, the heals coming out. Panda giving up some.
of his own life to save Matthew if he can. Now the Earth says here with that Aegis, Matthew huddled in a corner, hoping that nobody will find him. Anisha will eventually burn him out, or at least the Radiance will. And Mickey is going to town. The Claws are beginning to tear into him a little bit here, but there's the full squad still up and about. And Bakaja having no a hard time struggling. As okay. he goes down the first time, the False Prophet is going to wear out eventually on Mickey, but he'll have plenty heals after that. Because BKB TP out, but right in front of a Tormentor, and they almost died with the AoE damage on that Tormentor. Speaking of which, Slick Real will take that away from Evil Genius's 15k worth. It doesn't feel artificial when they're just throwing it on you. Let's get the ult off. Gonna wear out a lot of this Doom Timer. Maybe you can try and turn here. Yeah, this is pretty decent if they could stop Zai, but now the less rest of Team Liquid is here. Protecting the Ursa. That's priority number one. Getting the punish number two. I'm low I'm down back in. still. Telekinesis back in. Mickey, he's oh, going to get not a stop, though. And they had a false promise, Mickey. So that leaves the Doom open for the taking. Still, they're fighting under the Reign of Destiny. Box is going to be spotted. They go for the Oracle. False promise may have already been used, but that is still a prime target. Problem being, it sounds missed from being able to blink away once the false promise is used. That is something to think about in these fights. Another host stop gonna land. You're gonna get a third here. All right, a little bit of momentum now going for you. Yeah, you gotta get. His... Gonna try and catch off the smoke. You have Doom. Yeah, they smoke Mora. into the Underlord. She smile. Now he doesn't have an easy way out of this one. Well, I spoke too soon. I was gonna yeah, say he'd be out because of the easy. Doom, but they do have the stampede. Still gonna chase after him though. Nietzsche really committing. And they get some help though. The Pugna's already dead, so the healer is gone. A little bit more heal from Matthew, but it's not good enough. Nice steal, though, from Matthew, allowing him to get away, and Sean, because of their outpost being on daytime. That's a big deal. We have seen it be absolutely pivotal in these fights. Whisper will not find the jump. You get a stolen chains. That's level four. Oh, that is pretty strong. McCabe's going to jump in and go after that support. Yeah, and hit the other one, too, what with a the BKB. He used the Invisible Blade onto the Pugnet to stop the Decrepit fight and kills them both. On the other side, they are trying to go on Insania, but the damage is so slow. The disarm comes out, because being controlled, that's most of their damage. In fact, because is oh, he's hurting. He does manage to get Nisha first, but eventually falls. Still, though, C Smile is beginning to go to work all by himself, all by his lonesome, all that bonus damage, but not a low enough hero to put it into. Doors to help your man. They do a very good vision, though. Oh, they've got some good vision to work off of. And they found the silencer. That's a good great start already. Spy. But there's those buybacks. They have to worry about the sun. What done. Once again, Mickey comes in with a two-man. Bounce back. They have the doom onto the no oh, that a Bye bye. Getting chopped up by Mickey. Meanwhile, Nietzsche is going to work once again, just trying to disrupt the back line, trying to stop this Pugna from having an effect. C smile. He'll be able to get out. Whisper, maybe we'll do the same, but concoction. Might as well call You're it in now. trouble. <laughs> Man, Matthew had stolen the Doom, too. Obviously, load has reflected the Doom and stolen. That spells, they are happy to play those long engagements now. Oh, yeah, that is a cool idea. Shiva's goes out. Whisper is going to be spotted here. Hits him with a stomp. He's going to have to juke for quite some time in order to get his blink up. But unfortunately, he's going to be hit bound by Boxy with the Fortune's End. Trying to use that movement speed. He's still got a stampede, but he's going to be running through Nisha. That's unlikely to work. So he's just going to give up on it. <laughs> Even the disarm by Boxy. Yeah. Invis Mickey looking mid. Got all the attack speed in the world. Start laying into him with the Null Fire and the Bash is going out. C Smile has to use the Rod of Atos, trying to create some scab, but it's not going to happen. They'll slow down the Silencer and Mickey building up those stacks of the corrosive weaponry. That's the other upside of the attack speed bills on out. Down 30k. And you kill five heroes. Gonna need some magic to happen for evil geniuses. The cause is gonna have to find pretty much the perfect opening. He's gonna have to find a five-man black hole or something. I mean, it seems to me they're giving up the second lane of barracks because he popped his smoke. They have a tier two bottom, so. Seems the call is to play for a later timing. Team fights seem too impossible for now. He started he heading into the night. EG stamina may just be a factor here, but it looks like this game one may not last for long. Evil geniuses, big push coming in from Team Liquid now. Uh, he's gonna go for it, putting his damage to the test on Mickey, but the false promise immediately going out. 
And the damage will start being denied. They're gonna actually jump in, back in with that false promise, hit the stun, and he's just gone. Mickey healed up the fall. No Ursa, no damage threat. Evil geniuses have nothing to be able to stop Team Liquid, and they will take game one in this best of three. No answer for the Alchemist Cleavers here. Just slices and dices the golem straight into a throne. That's an easy progression. Four evil geniuses here in Berlin, and they put all their hopes in the Bacaz Morphling, Avery. That's kind of a bold pickup. I don't know if I like it, though. <laughs> Zero percent win rate? Mm, at this tournament, not so good. Yeah, but Bacaz, you know, he's a unique Morphling player. Let's, yeah. Let's put it that way. Use those super efficiently. Never got me flowers. My eye never Got somebody else flowers today. Panda. Oh, yeah, it's going to be trouble. The leap comes through and Boxy secures the first blood. And this is just time Zai gets the free farm. What were you expecting? Ooh, oh, that is an arrow right there. And Nisha, he's going to go in for the dive here, try and collect this kill. Oh, thanks to Mr. Boxy. Might even get two for one. Yeah, now Panda scrambling into this fight, trying to help out his mid laner, but it's a bit too late. And he may not even be able to pick up the golden experience as he's going to be chased out of lane and probably killed as he's going to walk back into the two of them. Arrow lands again. Boxy off to a huge start here this game too. 32 and 8, so he may be having another game where he's just rolling in the gold. As evil geniuses have had a hard time being able to stop him in this laning phase. Whisper taking a decent amount of damage. And Sania take an equal amount back. Oh, Whisper almost caught that one in his behind, and he's going to have to be bailed out a little bit here. The crep fly goes out, and Sania's low. Matthew will threaten Insania, and they get the kill. Thanks to Panda, who turns around and gets the Frostbite he's out on the Boxy. Boxy's low. He has another arrow in two seconds, but Whisper, who hit in the trees, is going to be able to slip on by. Like, the last time we watched his Ember, he put a lot of damage on the mid tower. Yes. Early Orb of Corrosion just right-clicked it down. Yep. You hit Storm 6, this will dissuade the aggression, but he got half that tower. And that arrow I'd like to see on the Morphlings. Uh-oh. Fight for the Wisdom Rune. It's going to be awkward because there's going to be arrow. He leaps over it, but Matthew does manage to collect first. Boxy, he gave it all. He has no leap charges now. Can't even TP out because of the Frostbite, so... Gives them a little bit of bonus experience on... It's a big ball. He is, but... See, smile. He's gonna put those levels to use now. He gets this kill on his eye. Ooh, It'll be very morph. big, but unfortunately, the morph doesn't go up because, okay, the stun doesn't last quite long enough. The disables weren't able That's to come in. The arrow, though, is gonna land on a see, smile. Matthew, he can't help him out. And now they're being run down by Nisha on a second power rune. He's gonna go to work. Underneath this tower, jumps over, tries to finish off Panda. Should be able to do it. A frostbite, though, will delay him a little bit. But the axes come calling. Zai comes calling. And the whole Liquid crew comes calling for death in this bottom lane. Gonna cut across here. The smoke's gonna break. They spot Panda. He's gonna be slowed down. I mean, just a slight in an axe. He's pretty much dead already. And Whisper, he's gonna have to give up the ground to this tier one tower, knowing that the Primal Roar is still up. Lays a bit of distance away from the Beastmaster. Doesn't want to be caught without any backup. And it seems like evil geniuses are saying stall. An arrow it is almost a guaranteed kill. They're going to change. There's the arrow. Oh, the, beam. the help of the beam to ensure it. It's pretty clear that EG wanted to be able to get something. Not going to be able to find it. And then every once in a while, we'll just get a slight change into arrow. Good hold there from the decrepit fight. That's going to help out the with the Crimson Guard and the pullback in the freezing field. Oh, there's the overstep. There's the move. Died long ago. <laughs> Undead tower. Crimson finish for Whisper. This is kind of your big mid game timing here for EG. Yeah, and Matthew is playing very far forward, but always trusting in his supports to be able to bail him out. They're going to do just that. Not only bailing him out, but maybe getting the kill on Insania. Got to be careful with the wearing out. He's going for those supports. Mickey is here as well, and the axe is from behind. Zai does manage to collect one. Two supports down. Whisper now being chased out as well. And there's no escape from this. He may be tanky, but Liquid have all the time in the world in this fight. And that's Golem. Curse Eye. That Helm of the Overlord already finished earlier, so he still has to fly it out. Maybe he forgot about it. Maybe they're just happy to try and take the trade, but that is Roshan for Storm Spirit here. Definitely in the conversation. Being in that top three. Let's see if they can prove it, though. Jumping forward, C-Smile gets the introduction onto Insania. Hello. Reign of Destiny. 
hard to get these kills. They have Aegis really to be able to utilize, but up. it's not easy. I mean, is this a fight? Is this not a fight? You still have Crimson. You're going to pop it. Fight now. They're going to pop the Eclipse, trying to go for Whisper. Whisper getting low. Panda covering him. The Stolen arrow. Not quite enough. Nice arrow. Does land on the mid game. But playing back. Trying to go through the ring. Oh, this is. Oh, this is crazy. They try and go through the gate, but they're denied as Nisha jumps in. Whisper's going to go for the TP out now, but the Lucent Beam lands on him. EG scrambling to get out. Oh, no! The damage just enough. He has BKB here. He He's going to no be able TP. to get out on his second life for sure, but using the Aegis like this, that is not what EG wanted. You have that global aura. You see the aura. Hawk. The Hawk sees you. Whisper, out of position, in a bit of trouble. Heaven's Halberd will protect him. Steal the Ember. The arrow. Gotta watch out for that one. Fortunately, they managed to dance by that one. Need of the damage. Jumps to the back line once again. He baits out the heroes. The two supports come forward, and then he nails them. Matthew, he's gonna be the first one to be cut down. Pops BKB, now goes for the Crystal Maiden as well. Storm's here, tries to come in, help out, but instead he's arrow. Boxy lands another one. He does manage to jump away. Still had his BKB to work with, too. Position when it comes to playing against this man right here. We should note they used Oracle for that fight, and Roshan was not up, so each are gonna get a fight without False Promise on the board. And you have double damage on cause, but it's wearing out in one second. Gets another help with the Overlord kill. <laughs> Add it to the tally once again. This is the fight you have to win. With the BKB, the Primal Roar is out. The BKB, though, see Smile, he's gonna be fine. The heals come out from Matthew Panda with a beautiful freezing field, but BKB's on Liquid's side proved to be superior as they now push back against Liquid with a beautiful slight change on the two that allows me to play clean up here. Yeah, you got the Oracle. Congratulations. But because he needs more help, he's got the Manta, gets rid of the chains. No arrow here, but they do have plenty of damage. Plays with the Slight, tries to waveform away. Liquid chasing after him. Another Slight change. Dodges it with the Slight. Whoa. Nice read from Bacaz. Bacaz doesn't protect his supports here. They just get instantly routed by Ember. And that's a big problem, right? He simultaneously needs to... Yeah. Especially when you have Nisha can go back and still rejoin you. Like, he's gonna deal with the split push pressure. Force EG back to their base. EG hit a time. or die. Though. You have Ag the off the Scepter on the Morph Plate. So, they do want to take this fight. And they have spotted Insania. They're gonna be able to kill him. He's down and out. Eclipse goes out with a BKB on Storm Tier. Once again, protects him with the help of Matthew. And they've got that high ground. Well, he can't some. get onto him. What a good pit from Whisper. Holding in these heroes. Luna looks like she may take out. That's gonna be Aegis Expire. But Nisha going in big. It's gonna for cause. And he bought the Aegis. Meaning, there is no buyback for him. He went all in for that Aghanim Scepter. No gold left in the bank. Just gets caught with it. something, an arrow. I don't even know what the hell stunned him. He got arrowed in the middle of that fight into a beam. Wasted so much of his time. Oh no, there's no tier twos left. And they know that Morph Link. They're going to put him to the Double buy. We think you don't have buyback. And they might just have the correct solution here. But it looks like, oh, an overstep from Nisha. And it comes out again. He lands onto the C smile. A four staff trying to get him away. Oh. Him the last second. Jump, jump, jump. He's good. A pin holds in Mickey. But a Nisha buyback buy. from Nisha. Nisha, he wants to keep this going. He has 35 seconds to do some serious damage to EG. Maybe even knock him out if he can. Mickey's getting low to these storm jumps. You have to respect the fountain regen here. Nisha, he's going to claim support. By. Another arrow coming through. Four staff gets him out of the range bit. 20 seconds for Pacaz. How much can you get in 20 seconds right now? It might be Megas. So, Mickey's back to full. Radiance box for what? Tier three, nothing. Dropping fast. As soon as the tier three is down, then the glaives start bouncing around. They do have a glyph. They can't get the full set of rares without a fight against the Morph Blade, but it is still a four versus five. Do they care about the morph? That's another question. You're gonna open up the glaive bounces here. Maybe just all in. They gotta start taking that fight now. There's Ag Steel on the Luna. You're gonna reduce his damage output a lot. That's gonna help. Oh, Sorcerer jumps in immediately, chained up. He has a BKB though. He jumps. Has a little bit of mana to work with. They use the Primal Roar on the oh, He already morphed into strength though. So he's gonna be okay, especially with help with Decrepify. But even getting him low allows Liquid to go for the Megas. Slight chains once again, ticking out the puck. Now he's gonna fall. Because low enough, back to the fountain he goes. While Megas gonna be secured by Team Liquid. See Smile. Panda, because Mega's coming in and Team Liquid showing absolutely no hesitation from Mega's two tier fours to the throne. 
EEG, you have to come up with a way to be able to stop this in a three versus five. There is Throw no nine, way to stop it. They say we cannot stop these Team Liquid ball. We cannot stop Team Liquid as they continue yet another run through the lower bracket. They have achieved top three and will be in the final day of ESL1 Berlin.